I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Are you in need of a helping hand, Master Butcher? Up an hand? No. But I've got a problem with supplies. I understand. The roads aren't safe these days. No, that's not what I meant. Beef and pork I can get plenty of. But the burgers here have a taste for aristocratic food. And maybe you can help me with that. You want me to poach game? Heaven forbid I would ever suggest such a thing. No. You would have to get it by, uh, other means. I don't want to spoil your plans, but game doesn't grow on trees. No, but if you happen to be walking in the woods and, uh, came across something, if you see what I mean. All right. Let's say I'll take a walk in the woods and I'll come across something and bring it to you. Excellent. I'm glad to see you speak my language. Get me a wild boar for now, so I can see what you can do. And don't worry, you'll be well rewarded. Very well. Jesus Christ be praised. Any chance of some work? Well, come to think, there is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown, nothing of interest to me. And where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them... I'd forge them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. Are you sure the Queen of Sheba's a Czech queen? Who else would she be? Have you not heard of her? Our some priest. She's in the Bible. Uh -huh. Isn't it a bit strange that some pilgrim would have something so valuable? Are you suggesting he might have been lying? Well, people aren't to be trusted, but this is nothing to joke about. God would smite him in a flash if he made light of holy relics that way. What kind of power did this sword have? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from him. They say the largest piece is with the Ratai swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well... Everything has its price, but this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratai couldn't manage it. 
Well, it does sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it. I'll pay you well. About that sword. May the Lord watch over you. <laughs> My breath is short, my feet are sore, I buy a horse but I am poor. The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you will not wither, darling mine. Now, for the last time. Good health to you. They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. That metal you've tempered never breaks. Ha! Ah, nothing but old wives' tales. Of course, some of my pieces have broken, but only ever here, at the smithy. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall. But I can't remember everything. Father was a blacksmith all my life. He always stoked up the furnace till it roared gently and you could smell the heated iron. Then he plunged it into the water and that was that. Fine words and no mistake. I do it a little differently. I heat until the metal is two, three shades short of bright yellow. I ease up on the bellows, and after a Lord's Prayer and a Hail Mary, off it goes into the water. It's, um... It's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. 
Our forge will stay burned out forever, unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Godly. It makes life easier for folk. And, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. And is that all? There's nothing else you do with it? Well, that depends. I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while and then quench it again. You quench twice? Yes, although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. And how does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod resting by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break as easily. No idea why, but I've tried it enough times to know it works. I'd like to ask you about the tempering process. And I'd say I've nothing much to tell you. You just need an eye for it and a furnace. Let's stop talking about tempering. Do you pull teeth? Oh, it doesn't give me any pleasure, but someone has to do it. <laughs> well, I have a customer here. Bring him in. I'll go and get my pliers. Farewell. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What the? Hey. Oh. 
Ah, I found it. Now to pick the flowers. Now back to Drahamira so I can get this thing over with. What? What do you want here? Go and play your game somewhere else. Can I do anything to help? What was that noise?
Ja. 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 Mistress, take a look at this rare crystal bound in the cage under this German. All right, so cabbage, cabbage, Hey, who's there? What's up? You need some help. Come closer, mistress. Take a look at the yeah. vegetables. Fresh vegetables. Henry! I'm glad to see you. Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bullocks! Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rat Eye that I got back in my right mind. You're not doing too well either, are you? Well, I'm just getting by the best I can. Nothing to get excited about. At least you had something to eat. Nah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sasau. No one. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. I'll find you something. You can rely on me. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt. Don't you worry. And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines, so wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. God save What you. other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunker's in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. 
That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa, but who knows where she is now? We got separated. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? Goodbye. Good day to you. What do you need? Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... well... honest. What's it about? I'm looking for someone who knows how to dip her pockets. For a... reward, of course. It's lucky for you that I happened along. Who do you want me to rob? There's a farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard. He made a killing supplying vegetables to the monastery. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out without even paying me for my labor. I'd like you to steal the grush and he owes me. And also, a pouch containing an amulet he got from the herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone, so when he realizes he's lost it, he'll have a fit. Sounds easy enough. It ain't quite that easy, otherwise I'd handle it myself. That fucker don't trust no one, and he's always looking over his shoulder. If you manage to nick his pouch and his coin, you can keep the Groshen as a reward. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah. Yeah.
But I need more for them. We can supply you with a few more blankets, but not many. Look at them. Look at the soon. state they're in. I know. I know the wounded need caring for. One of them dragged himself in here with broken ribs, and now he's going to die from pneumonia and starvation. Look, we're doing the best we can, and this kind of attitude isn't helping. I bid you good day. Your hunker? Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Well, uh, that depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Rattai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm... You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here. Alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it. If, if you liked. No. I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. 
Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohoslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. Everything here is fine. What happened to my family? I can't sleep again. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly! Good luck to you. Everything here is fine. Philip, from Scalitz. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. Hmm. He's not reacting. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hunker. Everything here is fine? I'm not needed here. He Please. just needs to sleep. Everything here is fine? Huh? Uh, why are you wigging me? You look all right. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Oh, what will Did the cumins back? wound you? <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I'll get some. God be with you. Please. Yeah? Damn. Why are you waking me? You're not from Scalitz? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks' rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the Master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods, where any bandit or ruffian can set on us. 
Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. I can't. I just can't. For the love of God. What have you been doing? What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. What about the executioner from Ratai? He usually breaks bones, but he might know something about mending them too. The executioner? Even if you could persuade him to come, they'll never let him in here. Well, maybe it would be enough if he advised me and then I tried... Look, do whatever you want. I have to go and take care of the others. I just won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to... Henry, for God's sake, our neighbours are dying here. Your friends. There isn't time to waste on some construction workers' bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. You've got your own herbarium, haven't you? What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. <sighs> if he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us? Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scalitz years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> If you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. Goodbye. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How are the wounded from Scalitz? Some of them are well taken care of. But others... Others are dying here. Needlessly. Sleep. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded, then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this? I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful! To you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. I can't. I just what do can't. I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? 
Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. Well, that's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long and he always leaves unsatisfied. Thank you.